several different ways that you can actually advertise your horse. Um, word of mouth, yeah, you probably won't sell him. You may, but probably not. Um, you're going to maybe tell, what, five, ten people. Um, or we can try the local newspaper. A local newspaper is good if you want to sell the horse within your own area and there is a good uh, market availability in that area of people, like the Omaha World Herald, for example. Um, there is a pretty big clientele base within that area. Um, you probably aren't going to put a $30,000 horse in the Omaha World Herald. Um, but you're also not going to take a $2,500 horse and run a one-page ad in the Quarter Horse Journal. You know, I think they run about $1,500 a page. Um, and if you look at some write-ups I have here on your local newspaper, you want to, because you have to pay by the word, you want to be to the point, precise. You want to say what the horse can do and what it has accomplished. So if you look at the way I wrote this horse up, and these are fictitious horses, um, 2002, I start with the year the horse was born. Next, I say the breeding, A-Q-H-A. Bay mare, buy, a good machine out of Little Miss Jet by Hot Rodders Jet Set. One of my biggest pet peeves when I see uh, people listing horses for sale is they don't put who it's by and who it's out of. It really is important, and especially if this is um, a mare or a uh, stallion. It, it, it is important because later on they will go on to have a breeding career. Then I say what the horse has accomplished. It has multiple ROMs, which stand for Register of Merit, with AQHA. Then it says an amateur Western pleasure, hunter under saddle, showmanship, and trail. So now I've said what the horse has accomplished and what events it's actually been trained and shown in. And I add a little catchphrase at the end, an all-around deluxe. And then, of course, um, you can list the price, and then, of course, a contact phone number. And some people like to list the price, some people don't. Um, I personally like to list a price because it weeds out those calls that are just calling to say, how much is your horse? How much is your horse? Um, other people don't like to list the price because they want to get you on the phone and they want to tell you all about their horse and then give you a price. And that's not a bad idea. If you have that kind of time and you want to do that, you might snag one of those people in. Um, second uh, example we have is, again, 2000, the year, the breed, AQHA, Sorrow Gelding, by, he's suddenly famous, out of, Red DD by Red D Hobby. And I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. Um, whenever you talk about the sire and the dam, I've had more people come to the farm, and, and this is just kind of, if, it's horseman terminology. Um, I have a lot of people come and look at a horse in a pen and say, who's that horse out of? And I know they mean who's that horse, who's the sire. But the proper terminology is actually who is that horse by. Um, and if I know them, I'll say, well, it's out of its mother, but it's by mm -hmm. the stud. <laughs> um, so it is really, you know, to be a proper horseman terminology, you say who's the horse by and what mare is it out of. Um, next we go to say what the horse is shown in. It's shown in 4-H and open show, so we know the level of horse. In showmanship, horsemanship, western pleasure, and trail. State 4-H finalists must be a good 4-H horse. We list a price and a contact phone number. Now the next, uh, if you want to run like a one-page ad in a breed magazine, state or national, um, these are probably, you're going to get a little more money into your advertisement. Um, one-page ads, I think the last time I checked with Horsepower, a one-page ad was right around $400 for a full-page color. So you got to take into consideration, do we want to spend that much money if we're only asking X amount of dollars? Now, if we're asking a higher amount, then yes, we probably want to put that into the horse to get it back out. And then um, you have your state publications that are really good. If you have like a paint horse and you want to advertise it, I believe the APHA, the Nebraska Paints, um, they have a um, state magazine that goes out to all the members and you could put a horse advertisement in there. Same with Quarter Horse and uh, the other breed associations as well. And then again, if you want to go to a specialized magazine, um, that's OK. 
Sorry. <laughs> um, you can go to like, I actually got a call the other day and uh, it was a roping magazine and this, this gentleman asked me, he said, uh, do you want to advertise in the Super Looper? I said, the what? He goes, the Super Looper. I said, oh, I thought it was like a Walmart advertisement or something. I, I honestly, if you all heard of it, I'm sorry. I, I've never heard of it. It's a team roping magazine. And it came to me, and it's a really nice magazine. But anyway, back to my point, um, you can put your horse in a specialized magazine, such as a roping magazine, reining, cutting, barrel horses. They have it all out there. <laughs> um, 